I believe that one of the most powerful things that you have is your testimony, your story. I've talked about this before, but when you're trying to help others, when you're trying to infuse hope and direction into the lives of those around you, the most powerful thing you have is your testimony because that's your experience. It's what you've been through, it's what you've done, and it allows you to connect to someone else. It, it's kind of the bridge between you and them that allows you to, to really uh, not just say, this is what I've heard is true, or this is what I believe is true, but this is what I've experienced, so I know it's true. That testimony is so important. But there are people who, who will be asked to tell their story or give their testimony, and, and often people think, well, my, my story is just not that impactful. My story is not that strong, and I don't have maybe some of the issues that others have had to overcome in my story. My story is different, and so I don't know that it can really help anyone. I don't know that it will make an impact. And the question I think that needs to be asked, and one that I'll try to answer for just the next couple of minutes, is what makes a testimony impactful? What is it that makes a story powerful? What is it that uh, makes your story and my story, our testimonies, our stories powerful and helpful in the lives of others. I firmly believe that your story is yours. It's exactly what it should be. It's exactly what you need it to be. And it is exactly what the people in your life need for it to be. We need to get out of the mindset that because our story is not like someone else's, it can't be helpful or it can't be powerful. To have a powerful testimony is to have a testimony that is helpful. <laughs> your story is powerful if it infuses those around you with hope and help. But how can you make your story, regardless of what it is, a powerful one? And again, uh, this isn't about having a story of brokenness and pain and hurt and, and all of those things. It's not about having an exciting testimony versus having a boring testimony. How do you use your story, your testimony, to benefit others? I think there are four things that every powerful testimony needs to have. And the first one is this, it needs to be authentic. Your story needs to be authentic. You need to have a story that is in, enshrouded in, it's wrapped in authenticity. Do you want your story to be powerful? Then don't make it up. A lot of people, because their story isn't exactly what they hoped it would be or wish it would be, or maybe it's not as powerful as they think it could be, they change it. <laughs> and it's crazy to change your story. People don't need to hear someone else's story when you're telling a story. They need to hear yours. It needs to be authentic. It needs to be real. It needs to be genuine. And if it doesn't have all of the craziness of someone else's, don't add it in. Don't, don't uh, doctor it up. Don't make it something that it's not. Be authentic. Be real. People need you to be real. Because at the end of this, you're going to try to offer hope. And there's no hope in something that's fake. Your story is yours. Embrace it. Be authentic. Be real. The second thing a powerful testimony needs is not only authenticity, to be authentic, but it needs the second thing. It needs transparency. Now, this is not the same as authenticity. To be authentic means you own your story. It's yours, and that's the one you're going to tell. You're going to be real and genuine. You're not going to add to it. You're not going to take away either. It's going to be exactly what it needs to be, what it is. But beyond that is required transparency. You see, the person with the most boring testimony has struggles in their lives. There are things that the person who looks like they've got it all together is going through, things that they're not sharing with anyone, thoughts that they've had or feelings or emotions that have crept up that they haven't shared with anyone. And to get beyond that veneer, to get down past the part that we want everyone to see requires transparency. Now, transparency is hard. It's hard because it lets people see inside of us. We all want to portray an image that says, I've got it all together. I've got it all figured out. I, I've got everything uh, right where I need it to be. But all of us are struggling with something. The struggle you're going through isn't unique to you. It just happens to be the struggle you're dealing with right now. But there's someone in your life that needs to know that you are struggling as well. You have fear in these areas or you have uh, thoughts and emotions that aren't healthy. Someone needs to know that. And in order for your story, your testimony to be powerful, you need to be authentic and real. But beyond that, you need to be transparent, talking about the things that no one else can see. 
Now, this is for anyone. This is for the person that has a seemingly boring testimony. People need to know what's going on. And this is for those that have a little more developed testimony. You need to be transparent. You need to be authentic. That is real. You need to be transparent, letting people see what's on the inside. But you need to go one step even further than that, and that's to the application step. Now, I I believe that a hurting person is able to make application to their own lives Often just hearing a story, knowing knowing that someone else is going through something is enough. But as you're telling your story, be real about who you are and about your experience. Be, Be transparent enough to talk about your own struggles, but then get beyond that and make application to life. This is where I was, this is what I've dealt with, and this is how I've moved forward. Don't take people to the point of hurt and despair and despondency and stop there. Move beyond that to application. When I did this, this is what happened. When this started to take place in my life or happened in my life, there was then a forward motion, a momentum that took place. Make application to others. Maybe I don't know your situation, but I know some of the things that I've struggled with. And if I was in your situation, knowing what I do, here's what I would do to help you. Tell your story. Make application to the best of your ability. Now, I'm not saying, again, to make things up. You don't know what others are going through if you don't know. But you can let them know what you went through, where you ended up, and how you move forward. Be authentic and real. Don't try to be something you're not. Be transparent. Let people see on the inside of you that's really important. Make application where you can. Let people know there's some handles to that story, something that is helpful. And the last one is this, and and this is an essential element. It's one I've already talked about. It's the element of hope. In order for your story, your testimony to be powerful, there needs to be hope. Yours should not be the kind of story that, that conveys or relays the message that no one else could be helped with this. No one else could find hope in this. Your story should always end similar to this. This is where I was, and this is what I went through, and this is uh, how I started to move forward, and there's hope for you. I know if I could do it, if I could experience the hope, if I could move forward, then so can you. Leave others with hope. Hope is, is the oxygen that people need in their lives. It's what allows them to move forward when things are overwhelming and difficult. Hope. Without it, we won't get up in the morning. Without hope, many people decide not to get up tomorrow. But when there's hope, there's nothing we can't deal with. You have a story. It's yours. It's powerful. It's strong. It's amazing because it's the story that God has given to you at this point in your life. Don't ever devalue that. But be real. Be authentic. Be transparent, letting people see inside of you because they see something and they'll form an opinion. Let them know about your own insecurities and hurts and hang-ups. Be transparent. And then make application. Not only have I hurt, but this is how I've moved forward, and you can too. And then offer hope. Because a person that gives hope to the hopeless has a powerful testimony indeed. Is your story powerful? Is your testimony powerful? It can be if you're real, if you're transparent, if you leverage that for the benefit of others, if you give hope. What a great story you can have.